For the purposes of this training, we will assume that the product tank was sprayed empty. Therefore, we're not going to go over how to do a recovery since that was discussed earlier. This is a perfect time to drain the strainer bowl to remove excess chemical concentration. Now we can start the first rinse procedure. Described here is a triple rinse procedure that includes a modification in normal processes. This results in a more effective rinse. Every rinse should begin with a boom cleanout procedure in order to push all chemical concentrations out of the plumbing. Once a boom cleanout has been performed, using the on screen prompts, initiate the tank rinse procedure. Select the water source. Pull in the desired volume of water. Select the check mark to stop pulling in water and to just run rinseate through the tank rinse line. The operator can choose the length of time to circulate rinseate through each valve. As desired, proceed through the rinse process to rinse the tank the bypass valve, and the sparge or agitation valve. Note that this gives ultimate flexibility to control the volume and time to rinse each line based upon the operator's preference. If no adductor is installed, the rinse is complete after the agitation valve. When installed, now is the time to go down and rinse the adductor bowl with rinse water. Use the keypad or the vario terminal to end the rinse procedure. While down on the ground for the adductor, also rinse the front reload. Simply open the front reload sump valve and main tank sump valve to let clean water backflow into the front reload line. After lowering the front reload line, close both sump valves and then empty this line using the front air valve to push the rinseate back into the tank. With a change to procedures, the recommendation is to skip the rinse plumbing steps with the first rinse process. Instead, move to the rinse out nozzles procedure. Start by selecting rinse out nozzles. In the empty box, select the source of the fresh water. For this example, we'll select the product tank. Press the check mark to start the rinse. This will start and run the pump. The pressure and rate become a factor of the tip size installed and is not controlled automatically. Turn on the section valves to spray the rinseate on the ground. In accordance with product labels, this should be done in the field. Once the entire boom has been flushed, press the check mark to stop the pump and to automatically close all valves. After the first rinse and when the system is empty, it is a good time to clean the strainers. However, the operator takes sole responsibility for how and when the strainer screen is cleaned and removed. <laughs>